What's up guys? It's a new week, so that means all the Dark Zone vendors reset. And I'm about to go through all of them, life. see what you guys should pick up, what you guys shouldn't, any tips and any suggestions for you guys. So we're gonna see what this vendor has right now, starting 31st Street and Park Avenue. We're gonna Can't find this stuff Military M60 E4, dominant and stable, not a bad combination. Yeah, yeah, performed. While your signature skill is active, reduces the cooldown of your abilities by 5.50%. Not bad for a, like, person who likes to skills. This hybrid mass has critical hit chance, increased kill XP, support station healing speed. I'm a fan of that, and it has electronics, so that might be good for a, a person who likes to use skills a lot as well. Reroll that kill XP, kill XP into something else that you might need. Marksman rifle damage, critical hit damage, health on kill, and smart cover damage increase. Um, and 386 health, or uh, stamina I mean, I would re-roll that stamina into something higher and I would re-roll the marksman damage into, um, elite damage because those, those weapon damage, uh, attributes such as SMG damage, assault rifle damage, marksman rifle damage, that's only adding about 4% more, um, weapon damage, so that's something for you guys to think about. And then, like I said, we're always going to be skipping the performance mod because it's pretty much self-explanatory. Self-heal. Um, ability and accuracy on this muzzle break. And critical hit damage and increased threat. I'm not a fan of anything of increased increase that or reduced threat. Uh, I'm not really a fan of those. I don't, I don't think they're that useful in the end game. Um, but yeah, we're going to be moving on. You'll be back. All right, so here on Fifth Ave by 29th Street, this vendor right here, we have military M870. This we have talented killing a target with this weapon increases skill power by five point five percent and a half seconds, ten point fifty seconds. I'm sorry. The effect is not stack and ferocious. Aimed enemies and elites take more damage by eleven percent. Yeah, I love that talent, but, uh, killing a target with a 7 increases skill power, um, I guess that's up to you, to you, up to you guys on how you feel about skills, any electronics build out, out there, a rapid assault pack, critical hit damage, burn resistance, turret duration, ballistic shield damage, huh, this has 420 electronics, uh, this is, Okay, I pick it up if you, if you really, really need it. Spawner pads, damage to elites, enemy armor, damage disorient resistance, and burn resistance, turret health, and mod slot. These are actually pretty nice, but that electronics, though, is below. Maybe you can re-roll it into something else? I don't know. Maybe you can roll it into either higher stamina or firearms. It's up to you. I would just roll the, uh, the electronics into above 400 if you really need it. Stability, hip fire accuracy, and critical hit chance and rate of fire. Alright, here on West 31st Street by 6th Ave, we have this stuff ain't street legal, but it'll save a VOAC, assault rifle with a depth using a skill increase critical hit chance by f five seconds, and then prepared damage is increased by five percent and more than forty meters from the target. Like a good, uh, no, uh, the, the pulse, critical hit and critical hit damage, crit chance of crit damage pulse. I'm sorry, guys, I just woke up. <laughs> or you have to using a sticky bomb or something like that. You guys can uh, experiment with that. Adept is a really nice skill. I would use it more often, or try to go for it more often if I was uh, a person who used skills more often. But yeah. Damage to elites, exotic damage resilience. Anybody who doesn't know what exotic damage resilience is, exotic damage is basically anything that damages you that's not a bullet. So fire, um, fire, electricity, anything like that. Damage to elites and critical hit damage, scavenging shock resistance. With only 376 firearms. How much do those others have? 388? Hmm. 30 items, yeah. So it's uh, totally up to you. These are both actually kind of nice. So I would just say re-roll those firearms 
or electronics a little bit higher if you need to. The uh, accuracy and reduced threat on this suppressor and a muzzle brake has stability and critical hit chance. All right, here on West 34th Street, Fender by 6th Ave, we have Classic M60 with Swift and Skilled Headshots with this up and increasing your skill resource by 8.50%. Man, this would have actually been cool if it had some type of stability talent. If it was a high end with three talents and it, some type of stability. But skill, to have skilled on a, uh, M on, a, on a LMG, I don't know. Kind of like a useless role. I wouldn't get this, personally, guys. Then we have prepared and vicious. Damage is increased by 10.5% when more than 40 meters from the target. Critical hit chance is increased by 10.5% while at full health. This seems to be much better than that M60. I'm not a fan of LMGs in this game. Um, if you can stack stability, let me see. What's the stability on this? It's not. If you can stack just a little bit more stability with this, you can um actually use this to your advantage. You can uh, you can play a play a a safer role with the LMG, staying back, and then um you know so you don't take any hits. Let your teammates take aggro and then you just unload onto the enemy. I don't know. Play around with that. Oh, these gloves roll. SMG damage, pistol damage, health on hit damage. Um, pistol damage? I, I wouldn't pick these up because you might want it to reroll. I don't know. You could go get away with that SMG damage if you're if you use, but the pistol damage? Pistol damage, like... How much was it you said, Anigo? Said it's only the. It's only 4%. Yeah. The piss, like, those. These, like, weapon damage rolls on the on gloves, they're only, add, they're only adding about 4% extra weapon damage. I mean, if you like the SMG damage, you could keep that, but the pistol damage seems completely useless on gloves. So, yeah. You might want to pick up one that would. Like, you can reroll that. If you like the health on kill, keep it. But you can reroll it to, like, crit damage or crit chance or something. Um, and now we have this vertical grip with initial bullet stability or, and horizontal stability. Here on West 39th Street by Broadway, we have a tactical AUG with predatory killing a target which generates 10.50. 50% 50 health over 5 seconds and critical hit damage is increased by 20. That's up to I think that's up to you guys. Dog is totally up to you guys. Tactical M249 Para self preserve critical hits with this weapon heal users percent damage dealt. Every kill performed with while the signature skill is active extends its duration. Um, I'm reading these and I could think of, I'm thinking about how you can use these to your advantage, but I this video would be a lot longer <laughs> than it needs to be. But um, the self-preserve could be good if you you can use you could stack about crit chance on this and it would be cool if you're into LMGs and it has a hundred round mag you know magazine size and crit chance would be cool into the self-preserve then you could if you could find some way to use commanding to your advantage I could use uh you could use um the pulse the uh, the crit chance of crit damage pulse if you'd like. Critical hit damage, damage to elites, disrupt and scavenging. Um, not a bad knee pad to use if you're trying to stack your scavenging. And uh, 422, oh, just too often 420. 4, 422 firearms, not a bad skill if you're into scavenging. Want to stack that up. Um, no attachments here, just uh, gear mods, and we're not going to do those. It was your call. All right, here on. 42nd Street, Times Square, we have a M1911 with Expert and Vicious. Um, if you guys didn't know, uh, sidearms will always roll with Expert, and Vicious is actually a really nice uh, talent to have. I, me, personally, I don't ever find myself using my sidearm often, and um, the other guys in the house, I've only seen them use the, uh, the sawed-off shotgun, but uh, if you guys are into sidearms, I think Vicious is a really nice talent to have. It does... Uh, 9,232 damage. That's actually pretty high. We have a health on kill, health and exotic damage resilience. Once again, 
Exotic damage is anything that is not a bullet. Then we have increased kill XP. And then Seeker Mine Explosion Radius. Shooter Gloves has critical hit damage, pistol damage, and LMG damage. And Seeker Mine damage. And that's that's really low uh, stamina. I, I, I think I would just stay away from these. We have Headshot Kill XP, Headshot Damage on this scope here. The red dot side has Headshot Damage and critical hit chance that's that's a, that's a nice that's a nice scope to pick up guys um a dot site yeah i would pick that up all right right here on west 46th street we have another m1911 with expert and harmful harmful is also another good talent each hit has a 10.5 percent chance to apply the bleed status effect on the target but mm, with only a seven round mag i don't know it's up to you guys we have armor, protection from elites, health on kill, ammo capacity, and turret health. 399 firearms. Uh, like a good tank build. We roll the firearms into some into into stamina. That sounds like that sounds pretty good for uh, tankiness. Skill haste, sticky bomb damage, and a mod slot. 432 firearms and 367 electronics. Uh, eh. Angled grip, stability, horizontal stability, and that's something you can pick up for whatever gun you need it for. Right here by 53rd Street and 7th Avenue, we are selling Military Scar H with predatory killing the target regenerates 10.50% health over 5 seconds and vicious. Oh. I don't know how I feel about uh, vicious most of the time because I just find it very rarely, especially if you're doing like harder missions such as challenge mode, you're rarely ever going to be at full health all the time. So I don't know how often you can take advantage of that. That's just how I feel about vicious. If you can make it work, then you guys. We have unforgiving and capable on this military RPK. Missing health segments increase your damage. One missing segment plus six percent. Two missing segments equals eighteen point fifty. Able using a skill improves the handling of your weapon for ten point fifty. Yeah. Rapid assault pads, exotic damage resilience, critical hit damage, enemy armor damage, blind death. Wow. Wow. I'd reroll that exotic damage resilience into something else. Chance and that's really good. Exotic damage, resilience, critical hit damage, enemy armor damage, blind death, and scavenging. 380. Oh, you can roll that into a socket, even. Yeah, that's 387 electronics. I'd pick that up actually. Small grip has accuracy and horizontal stability. Stop. It's a deal. Now move it. Here on 53rd Street and 5th Avenue, Don't ask where this we have a military M80, M870. Adept using a skill increases your critical hit chance by 5.50% for 5 seconds. Killing a target with this weapon increases skill power by 5.50% for 10.50 seconds. Effect is in stack. Um. Nah. Custom M44 with 154% headshot damage. 33.5k ace damage with ferocious and trained. Wow, that's actually not bad. With ferocious and trained. Even if you don't use electronics build, like, wow. Excellent crit chance on that. Actually not bad. I would pick that up. The armor, smart cover duration with firearm, stamina, and electronics. <laughs> I guess if that's an upgrade for you, pick it up. We have magazine size, rate of fire, and critical hit chance and headshot damage. Wow, actually picking that up would be perfect for that custom M44. Yeah, that would go great with that M44 right there. This scope right there. Here on East 46th Street. And 5th Ave, 
Oh, this fellow. We have the SOCOM MK20 SSR with Predatory and Prepared. Killing the target regenerates 10.50% health over 5 seconds. Damage is increased. That's a good talent to have on a uh, marksman rifle. Prepared. Damage is increased by 10.50% and more than 40 meters from the target. That's a very nice talent to have on a marksman rifle, but... Uh, actually, that would be a good combo. That far from the enemy, and then more than likely you won't have aggro and them shooting at you if their aim isn't like godlike. That's a nice combo. I'd pick it up if you guys really want to. But only 100, 135% headshot damage of 17.2k. If it's uh, if it will do you well, then I'd pick it up. <laughs> Shotgun does 58.5k damage, five rounds. Responsive damage is increased by 10.50 when closer than 10 meters to the target. Great to have on a shotgun. Commanding every kill performed with while the signature skill is active extends its duration by 15%. You could use that with the turtle shell or a critical hit um, signature skill. That'll work out great. Oh, this chest piece right here. Health on kill, protection from elites, ammo capacity, smart cover damage resilience, and one mod slot. 376 electronics. You could um, throw that electronics into firearms. That would be hmm. Stamina. That would go good with this this shotgun right here. Actually, see this compensator. Hard the optimal range. Pick that up for anything if you need it, guys. I've got plenty other clients. Here on East 42nd Street by Park Ave, I guess. Yeah, Park Ave. Um, this Dark Zone vendor is selling a double barrel shotgun. Pfft. Double barrel shotguns, not a fan. Has determined killing a target reduces skill cooldowns and self preserve critical hits. Not bad, but stacking critical hit with only two rounds? I don't know. I just don't like double barrel shotguns at all. Double barrel shotguns do have the fastest fire rate out of all shotguns in the game, but eh, I mean, they're good talents. Eh, I don't know. I I just want to pick it up. If, if you guys want to, go ahead. 382. Uh, firearms. Skill powers, scavenging, and smart cover duration. Nice hybrid mask. Yeah, I will pick that up, actually. Shooter gloves. 422. Stamina, health on kill, pistol damage, and assault rifle damage. Um, I, I guess I would roll that pistol damage into... Elite damage, if you can, but pistol damage, pistol damage is just meh. You have initial bullet stability and hip fire accuracy on this vertical grip right here. Now for 40th Street and Park Avenue checkpoint, we have, oh, not the ammo. Military L86 LSW with damage. Ooh, deadly and destructive. Ooh, 30 round mag, light machine gun. You know me out. You guys know how I feel about the destructive talent. But it only rolled 15%. <laughs> it would have rolled higher if it was a high end. But uh, I'd pick that up if I. If you guys are a fan of LMGs, I'd pick it up. I've been masked with skill power, increased kill XP. Smart cover duration and 404 firearms and an empty mod slot. Nice hybrid mask. Health on kill, critical hit chance, damage to elites, and support station duration. 431 stamina. I roll that kill, health on kill into critical hit damage. Excite optimal range and accuracy. Ooh. But not a bad vendor. Selling two, two nice things. Uh, LMG, the mask, and the gloves. Not bad. I'd pick it up if I were you guys. And lastly, on 34th Street and Park Avenue, we have Military M9 with expert and brutal headshot damage is increased by 19.5% when using this weapon. Not bad if you're a fan a, of, of the sec, uh, sidearms. Shooter pack, 427 firearms, backpack capacity is 47, skill haste, disrupt resistance, pulse critical hit, damage broken, it's a secret mine, explosion radius. Not bad if you're a fan of those two uh, skills. And yeah, it actually has skill haste on it too. Not bad. I, if you're a fan of using your skills a lot, then I'd pick it up. 
Um, the shooter holster also has skill haste, all three main stats, and sticky bomb damage. Uh, totally up to you if you, you guys want to pick that up. Um, critical hit chance and reload speed, not a bad, not a bad high end velocity max roll. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this week's Dark Zone vendor inventories and suggestions and tips. Um, I will see you guys next week for the same video. If you guys enjoyed, please let me know what you guys think and what you guys are planning to pick up from all these vendors. Catch you guys next time.